This is Selma Schimmel for the group room at AACR in Chicago, the annual American Association for Cancer Research Meeting. And our content today goes on as we speak with Dr. Susan Domchek from the Abramson Cancer Center at the University of Pennsylvania. In your double role, we've now talked to you as a medical oncologist, but in your other role as a genetic expert, mm -hmm. How, what is the message you want to share with women who are sitting on the fence, let's say, about doing oh, prophylactic intervention, getting tested? Who, because there's fear involved, and sometimes fear will keep you from doing the right thing. I agree, and, and, and I've been doing this long enough that, that I believe in this wholeheartedly, that um, genetic testing can be a life-saving intervention. And that it's not easy, and of, of course it's not easy, and, and, and no one should, uh, should minimize that. However, having this information allows you to make decisions that it puts you in the driver's seat, that you get to decide what decisions you make. And having that information, at the very least, allows you to be more aggressively screened. Um, and uh, if surgery is not right for you this minute, you don't have to run and do that right now. But at least you'll have the information and be able to make uh, your own decisions. And when it comes to the breasts, you can screen far easier the breasts than you can the ovaries. And my understanding is that if your mother, if you're BRCA positive and your mother has had ovarian cancer, that the daughters are likely to see it about 10 years earlier than their mothers? Right, and those, those are all data that are evolving, but, but the, uh, the, the point you make is, is a great one, which is that uh, the single most effective strategy for BRCA1 and 2 mutation carriers to reduce the risk of ovarian cancer um, and has a side effect of also reducing your risk of breast cancer is to have the ovaries removed. And this is really important and has also been shown to improve survival. So it is something that we talk to women quite a bit about. Um, but uh, I think it's important to come in and hear those conversations. I don't like when people are scared off uh, from testing because they're worried about what people are going to tell them. Come in, have the conversation, get genetic counseling, find out what it can mean to you, and hopefully uh, those providers can, can explain to you how empowering this information is. Right now for BRCA1 and 2 mutation carriers, we do talk a lot about surgery, but the goal here is that someday we have other options besides surgical options, and that's what we all want. Thank you very, very much, Dr. Susan Domchek from the Abramson Cancer Center at the University of Pennsylvania. Thank you. Thank you.